welcome to Diamonds with Abiki Mani. So as you can see, I am here and this is Ask Abby. If you're new here, I answer five questions per episode and I can even get the questions from you guys if you post them in the comment section down below. So for now, let's go into question number one. Hey Abby, how do you think people of color should respond to racism? So I guess it's black people, it's Asians, some Asians, because um, really there's this like phenomenon where, okay, where when you think of Asians, you think of Chinese, Japanese, and that's it. But there are Asians like Indians, the Asians like who are like really like dark skinned, like what's the name, Indonesian, like who are actually like really dark skinned. Okay, you get the point. So people of color. How should they respond to this thing? I do think that you have every right to defend yourself or to speak up against it. If they are being biased, like because you're black, you're not allowed to do something, then I feel like you have every right to ask, like, why are you allowing them and you're not allowing me because I'm black? Like, you have a right to speak up against it. But if it's like, yeah, okay, what, what I can say is, you have a right to speak against it. You have your own rights and you shouldn't be treated differently for your color in something you can't control. So yeah, that is what I think. Ah, uh, let's move on to question number two. Assuming you are a brand, tell me about Abby. Okay, now Abby is a brand. <clears throat> Introducing a new product, Abby Kimani. Wait, um, some things that people don't know. I'm sarcastic. I am very loud, extremely loud, if I know you. But if I do not, if you put me in a place where I don't know people, I can, I tend to be very shy and introverted. But around people, I know I'm very loud. Uh, I am a nerd, if you can, if people still say that. Like, I love reading, I love education, I like exams sue me but i in primary school i I used to look forward towards exams uh i like answering questions in class whatever and i perform well generally uh what else i and most importantly i'm a child of god and i am born again yes and i'm proud of it yes i think that's about it here let us move on to question number three Hey Abby, which one holds more weight? Integrity or passion? Like for example in the workplace, integrity or passion. I feel like both of them are very important just in different aspects. If you have integrity, you will be polite, you will be um you will be respectful, you will not be corrupt, but if you have passion, you will work hard, you will make sure that nothing goes wrong because you have this passion at the same time i feel like integrity carries more weight because you are if you have passion but you don't have integrity you are willing to do anything even receive or give bribes in order to make your passion work but i think integrity carries more weight but at the same time i feel like they are both equally important yes now uh, let's move on to question number four Hey Abby, what's your favorite movie so far? I don't have one. And I don't even watch that many movies. I really watch movies about weekly because we watch one on Sunday as a family, like all of us. And we don't have Wi-Fi, so I can't watch movies like individually. I go on Netflix. I don't even have Netflix, so. <laughs> yeah, my favorite movie, I'd say, um, Oh, No Way Home. Oh, No Way Home was good. I love Marvel and I love DC. I'm here for the content, honestly. Um, no Way Home. Queen of Katwe. <sighs> yeah, I think that that's, that, that's it, honestly. Don't really um, have... Um, but the, the thing with me is I like movies, but I get bored easily. That's why 
there's a point in time when I had installed Netflix with the with the free plan and I was watching Squid Game because you know everyone is raving about Squid Game all this. I watched episode one and that was it. Because it was really boring. See me, it was boring. I I don't care what you say, Squid Game was boring. Like this I watched one episode, I'm like, no. And the thing about me is if I'm reading a book, watching a movie or watching a series and the first few minutes aren't interesting you bet me i am going to exit like i get so bored easily so unless the movie is good right from the start then i'm not gonna uh, it's not for me that's why i don't like watching like series i don't watch series a lot actually so yes let me go on to the final question which is question number five um, how is the sleeping pattern compared to when you are in class eight Hey, I'm getting way more sleep now and thank God for that because when I'm in class 8 I can even get 3 hours of sleep and I'm in class I'm like this and you're struggling because wow, Aki the struggle is real when you're in class 8, Kwanzaa, those last weeks ah teacher those last weeks you'd have like 12 homeworks and like each like each subject there's a paper much more that challenge challenge would give us one to fifty question and answer for maths so you start at home and if you can finish at school finish at school but only Aliyah and those others were able to finish so and it was only mostly her and naima so you start you are given maths 150 english 125 kiswahili you're given one to two, one to thirty. Science, you're given two papers, one to fifty each. SS, you're given one to sixty. CRE, you're given one to sixty. Yes, one to sixty, not one to thirty. So you go home, you start your homework, you finish it at like twelve thirty, and you have to wake up at four. I may finish at one. People even finished at two, and you have to wake up at four. Well, I had to wake up at four, other people woke up at five. So my sleeping schedule was so messed up. Especially during the times, the days for KSP, like I, by the, by the I didn't read. <laughs> I don't know how I passed. Because me, the Monday after KSP, come home, eat, read for 30 minutes, sleep. Come home again, the concert, the second, the last, the last day, Tuesday, I came home. The first thing I did after eating, I showered and I slept. I didn't even read. I read at school in the morning. I don't know how I passed. I don't. I don't know. Anyways, uh, God is gracious. Maybe that's how. But let me tell you, sleep is so important. If you are you are in class seven and now you're in class eight, we see danganwe. Do not let yourself be lied to. Let me tell you, especially if you are in my school, these teachers will tell you, oh, siambiwe mami at yendo lale mapema. You sleep. Don't sleep, but don't sleep late. Don't sleep past eleven. Sleep early na ulale vizuri, lala kabisa, because that sleep is so important. It is useless to trans night or to, to sleep late reading and you wake up in the morning na umesau because you're tired. It's useless. Useless. Sleep na ulale vizuri. It's going to pay off. I'm not saying you sleep a lot, but I'm saying make sure you get at least seven hours of sleep. That is decent. Don't be, a, be around like me and my friends, zombies. Four hours of sleep maximum five when i tell you teach that point when i would be doing homework at night and i realized i have three hours of sleep where god is gracious i'm so happy because three hours is so much ama i'm doing homework it's 3 30 and i'm supposed to wake up at four and i haven't slept Like what would happen is I, I go to sleep, then I wake up, I do homework, then I go back to sleep, then I wake up again. So like let's say I wake up at 1 to do homework, then it's 3.30. Am I going back to sleep? No. And I've only slept for one hour. So trust me, it's really bad. Uh, so you sleep. Let me tell you, you sleep. That's what I tell you, sleep. And when you reach holiday, you know, you, you even get like more chance. But anyways, let me not dwell on that. I'm kind of bitter about it. Uh, <laughs> Teachers, if you're watching this, don't tell kids not to sleep. Like, tell them to work hard, but don't tell them to transnight or don't pressure them to sleep late at 2, at 3. Don't. Now, uh, that's about it. 
I think I'll end this video here. I hope you enjoyed because I did. If you have any questions, the comment section below is for you to ask questions. And as long as you keep it respectful, that's okay. Now, I will be leaving. See you on the next one. Bye!